It was never affected by what happened before. Okay. And now we're gonna we're gonna start talking. Hey, what if what if what if something happens first? What if that affects my next event? So uh, go up here and just tell yourself that we're also gonna go for more. We're gonna go more question mark. And we're gonna go page 26 to 27 in the workbook. Okay. Tell yourself to go there uh, if, if you need to continue this. Okay, so most of the time, most of the time we're going to deal with two events, maybe three down the road. But let's say your two events would be two coins, right? If you flip them, it doesn't matter which one you flip first. Like if you flip the first one and it lands on tails, will that have an effect on what happens to the outcome of this event? Not at all. Unless you're superstitious or whatever. Oh, you used your left hand for that first one maybe, right? Or you need to wear a different jersey. But anyways, all that aside, the, the events are not affected, right? However, I don't have a deck of cards on me. If I were to say the two events are pulling one card out first, like somebody pulls it, doesn't replace it, and then another one is being drawn, you'd have to agree that the probability will change. Right? Sometimes it, it, get, it improves and sometimes it doesn't. We'll, we'll look at that. And so that's what we're going to look at today. Um, so here it is. Let's do a few examples right off the bat. Okay. Uh, Alfred rolled a uh, die twice, okay? The first time, it landed on five. So this is event number one. Event one, right? What's the probability that the second roll will land on a five? Event two. I'm going to ask you this. How do you know? Make sure you follow, guys. Make sure you follow. How do you know they're independent, right? I will ask you this. Um, since since uh, rolling a five the first time, does not affect the total outcomes Of the second roll, it stays. What would it be landing on a five? One out of six. Yeah, it stays one out of six. Nothing changes. It's one out of six the first time. It's one out of six the second time. It's one out of six the one hundredth time. It doesn't doesn't affect. So make sure you write that down. Una used the spinner below. And it landed on a heart. If she spins it again, what is the probability that it will land on a heart again? So you spin it, right? This is event number one. Event one, right? Spins it again. This is event number two. Okay. Are they going to be affected? Does the total number of outcomes change when you spin it once? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, events are, you have to know how to explain this. Events are independent, comma, since the first outcome does not, there's the emphasis, affect the outcome of the second event. Okay, so be, be able to express this somehow using your own words. What happens first doesn't affect the second and so forth. So probability would be 
Um, hearts, how many hearts do we have? They use the same spinner. One, two, right? Two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Two out of ten. Um, this is the first. So heart on the first roll and the second, it's still two out of ten. Okay? Nothing changes. Nothing changes from one to the other. A very important distinction. Okay, now it's going to change. Ready? It's not that hard of a concept. You just have to recognize it, right? That's all. Um, a bag of marbles has three red, five blue, two green. Okay? Marbles. If a blue marble is chosen and not replaced, can you grab a highlighter right now or underline this? That is the key here, not replace. If I say that, if the question says, hey, you're not replacing, I'm just going to put that here. Dependent events. You need to know that term. Okay, that's classic for no replacement is, is giveaways. A dead giveaway for these events are dependent. Okay. So, uh, first event is drawing, drawing blue, right? Drawing blue. Okay, so what, what's the probability of getting a blue one at first? Well, how many marbles do we have in total? You need your total, right? Ten. And there are five blues. Okay. Second event what are we looking for in our second event? We want a drawing a red. Drawing red. So it's going to go like that. Drawing red. Can you see that okay there? Let me just bring it down a bit. What's going to change from here to here, knowing that it has not been replaced? The denominator is the first thing that's going to change, right? You all agree with me, right? Minus 1, so this is 9. Is the numerator, what is the numerator going to be? I'm looking for reds, right? <laughs> nothing, has, nothing has affected the number of reds before, right? A blue one was drawn. So I'm going to just go up here and say, hey, I still have three left. So this is the probability of drawing a red, given that a blue was drawn first. Okay, that's what it's where it's at, right? Total changes, and that's where this comes in. Right? You're going from a ten to a nine. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's do an example here. Louise is playing a card game. She draws one card from a standard deck of cards without replacing it. Here, here goes your highlighter again. Okay. I don't know. You want to stick with the same one? Sure. Without replacing it, draws another one. What do we call that if it's not replacing? Dependent events. Say it with me. There you go. So if they ever need a choir director can come and see me, all right? Dependent events. Um, anybody inquire? In here? Okay, good. Don't, don't get any ideas in there. Uh, what's the probability that the first card drawn is an ace? Uh, do you want to answer that right here? Let's do that. Probability of ace, nothing has happened yet. So we still have our 52, and there are four aces. Done. 4B. If the first was an ace, so this happened, right? Event one. What's the probability that the second card is a two? Right? This is event number two. So we're focusing on that. Since a card has been drawn, this is down to 51. Okay, no surprises there. Uh, the first card was an ace. 
it does not affect the number of twos that are left, correct? It does not. So we still have four aces left. Sorry, four. That's, that's going to be so, so confusing. So we're just going to do four twos left, right? Uh, ace drawn, right? 51 cards left. So if I if I did that to you, okay? If I ever put two fractions side by side and you see that this 52 something 51. It's like what is what what kind of events are these? You should immediately recognize, oh, these are dependent. I know that because the total has decreased, right? Something happened between the first and the second event. Okay? Let's keep going. I want you to practice a little bit on your own. Um, I want you to skip the Mississippi question. I will do that in a bit. I want you to do seven and eight. Eight continues next page, okay? So make sure eight, eight is on the, on the, a back side of this so keep going with that and then I, I'm hoping that to some of you are wondering how do I show my work the answer is if you get the right answer you get the marks but if you don't there's not much I can do right so uh, I will show you how I would show the work here so for the this question right here please highlight the fact because not all questions will be like this right we're not focusing on but you do not put the card back, right? So you right away know, okay, I'm going to have to deal with two, two situations here, two events. So this is what I would suggest you do. Probability, the first card is a face card. So I write down probably a face. There are 12 out of 52, correct? That's my first event. Then I go comma. My second event, that's the one that I'm really after. That's my final answer. Probability of A's, right? You definitely should show that you're going to 51. And there was a face drawn, right? So one less, but it doesn't affect the number of aces I have left. So in this case, only the numerator has been changed. Okay, only the numerator. Uh, leave it like that, you're good. Um, what if it said probability of another face, right? You have to watch out for that. It will affect both the total and the number of faces left, okay? Next, you're dealing with beads. And uh, it says here, just a random uh, bead being white, okay? So probability of white, there is no, uh, not, no indication that something has been taken already. So how many beats do we have? 30, 45. 45 total. That's very important, right, for probability. I'm, I'm not doing any odds yet. Do you notice that? I can do odds as well. But it's 45 and we have um, 18 white. So that's it. That's all for this one. Let's go to B on the next page. 18 out of 45. I'll remember that. Um, if the first one has been a, this is where events are happening, right? So the first was a white, probably a white was 18 out of 45. But now it's asking for that second event, right? Another white card. In this case, it's actually 18 minus 1, and it's 45 minus 1. You're taking away a card from the total, but because you're go going with another white Marble, it's actually 17 out of 44. Does that make sense? It affects both in this case because the previous event was the same as the next, right? We're talking white marble. So that's what it is. This is your final answer. That's what I'm after. Okay. Um, not replaced. Sorry, that's, I think that's important to understand. Okay, that's why we're doing this. 
Uh, if the first one is a white and it's not replaced, there it is again, because it's you got to watch out for that. You're now used to it, but soon I will say, oh, and so-and-so is replacing it, putting it back. In that case, if you go up here, guys, it would just be 18 out of 45 again, right? Because you're putting it back. Nothing, nothing affects the next event in that case. So uh, if the first one is a white, so probably a white, it's 18 out of 45, we reset, right? This is your first event. Second, you want probability of blue, okay? In this case, you have 44, right? This drops by one. How many blues are there? Can you help me out? 12, thank you. So it's 12 out of 44, uh, not affected, right? Not affected. by first event. That has not been affected by the first event, the 12, right? Um, from the original bag, a white bead and a blue bead are drawn, not replaced. How many of you tried this one? I hope you tried it, right? So there's a white, then a blue, and what's a probability that the third will be a red, okay? so. First, second, third, okay? So probability of white, we know it's 18 out of 45. Then it's a blue that has been drawn. So that probability was 12 out of 44. Uh-huh, right? This has been affected. I can guarantee you, uh, for the red, before you write anything down, just do this already. It's going to be 43. And then you look back. None of these previous events affected the number of reds. So I'm going to just put the 15 over there. Not affected, right? Not affected. By first and second. Okay. But this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the answer that I'm that it's actually looking. I just like to show the steps leading up to it. Okay. And I will do Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippis, right? Um, can I just say something? These questions here, if you kept going, if you kept going, it, this is not necessarily dependent. Like this is actually not saying anything about something happening before. So it's almost like probability of this, reset. Probability of this, go back to reset, right? These, these are not dependent events here, um, but they do show up further down the road, okay? Like for example, if you go to 161, She places the peach back in the bowl. See that? 161 at the bottom. You're replacing it. Can I just say this? Underline this. Puts the peach back in the bowl. What kind of events are we talking about? Independent or dependent? Independent. I, I'm just going to write that down. So don't be thinking it's dependent every single time. Right? Like you have to watch out for the wording. Um, okay. Is the C C is going on next page, I think. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, never mind. Leave it. So let's do Mississippi. Like we gotta go back, right? So we're gonna go to 159. I I need you to know how to do this, okay? Possibly already for the quiz tomorrow. Okay, so this stuff will be on the quiz tomorrow, this kind of uh, dependent situation, okay? So consider the word Mississippi. If the letters make up uh, this word would be placed in a bag and you would randomly select a letter, what's the probability of drawing an I? I think the first part you will be able to do. Uh, how many letters are there? Let's count. 11? Somebody counted already? I'm going with it. 11 letters. Okay. That's your total. So probably drawing an I, there's one, two, three, four I's. 
What do you call a fish without an eye? Okay. The, the probability of drawing a P. Right, there's two P's, two out of 11, 11, that's it. The probability of drawing a consonant, what is that? Consonant, uh, you need to know your vowels, right? Vowels would be A, E, I, O, U. So anything that isn't that is considered a consonant, right? So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven out of 11. It's your M, S, P, right? That make up this. Watch this. If Biff draws the letter S and without replacing it, without replacing it, draws another one, determine. So this is the first event. This is not going to change, right? The probability of the second letter being an M. What would the denominator be? It would be 10, right? Because this happened. This is this has definitely happened. So I'm down to 10. Count how many M's there are. There's one of them. Next, we're still going to make this out of 10. Probably of the second letter being a P. We've got two out of the, two P's, right? And then so so far it was only the denominator that has changed really from the original. And, it, and now it's the second le letter being another S. So we used to have four S's and now we have three. Okay. So it's three S's. So I'd say how do we do this? Four S's minus one. I don't know. There you go. So we, we took away that one letter up here. I'm going to go. Um, this is always happening first, right? So it affected it affected the number of S's left. So it actually affects both numerator and denominator. Okay. Okay. Um, Grab your workbook. You still have 15 minutes, so uh, no falling asleep here. I'm going to leave that tree, the weird tree diagrams like that. I'm going to leave that for today. Okay, I wanted to try this, but no time for it today. We're going to leave that. So you just skip to page 27 where it says practice questions right there. I just want you to try those. And there are some odds in there as well. And I will post the answer key to this uh, so you can check it. So in the meantime, just work on this, okay?